Maybe you're on with uh, Eddie Almos. Hello, gentlemen. How you doing? Okay. Excellent. Um, I got two things. One for each of you. Stan. What? Um, yesterday somebody called in that sounded a lot like Michael Talbot. <laughs> I swear to God, ask Frank. Really? And he was going on and on about, well, where the hell is Stan? He keeps begging me to call in. I finally call in, and he's not there. You're kidding. Yeah, I think this is like around... Well, it would be typical of Talbot to wait till I was gone the one day and then, uh, you know, call in. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Mr. Almos. Yes. Um, <clears throat> I, first time I saw you in a film was in Blade Runner. Mm-hmm. Played a, a cop then. Mm-hmm. I was wondering what other films you've done and how many other times you've played a, a police officer. Uh, on uh, film, actually, um, Blade Runner is the only other police officer I've played on film. Um, that was an interesting film, very interesting it film. It was. And uh, I also I played uh, police officers on television, per se, on television shows. Matter of fact, Don and I first teamed up in about 19, I guess it was 73 or 74 in a police story. In which he played, uh, we both played police officers. I didn't know and, that. Really. Yeah, yeah, we were both wow. with uh, David Jansen. I are, you, uh, are you typecast yeah. now, forever? Uh, I think that uh, you're either going to be a cop or a teacher. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. No, basically, it's a situation where typecasting comes, uh, I think, uh, in, to everybody on every situation mm-hmm. that they do well. And then they break the mold and they do something and people are surprised. I think typecasting lets you, lends itself to two things. One, to uh, allowing the viewer to be surprised. Mm-hmm. And two, allowing the artist to explore and expand themselves and hopefully be able to accomplish that. So I don't find that that's a detriment. I find it as an asset, actually. What, what other movies have you been in? Uh, I haven't done too many films. Actually, I started in, in 1964 in theater. And then uh, spread into 19, uh, about 70, uh, 72 was my first film that I was partook in. And that was a thing called Aloha Bobby and Rose, which was way back in uh, the days of, with Floyd Mutrix. And um, I've done approximately about six films in uh, a handful of episodic television and then this television show. But basically I root in theater. Uh, I did... Uh, uh, theater up until 1980. 1980 was uh, the last time I did theater. Okay, sir, I want to get some other people on, all right? All right. All right, thank you very much. Uh, Captain Dave from the Neil Rogers Show. Oh, gosh, did oh, you have to say Dave. that? <laughs> it's okay. Don's not listening. <laughs> Just said Dave or something, you know. How are you, Dave? Probably snoozing right now, anyway. So how are you feeling, Stan? I'm okay, Dave. Good, now good. You've, you've done, have you done some Miami Vices? Yeah, I, I haven't done much speaking stuff. I've tried out for some stuff and all, and uh, the acting thing's going along real good, but still working on the Vice thing. Hopefully in the next few weeks there'll be some other stuff coming. Well, I talked to Don Cox, and I found out how you can get cast. Oh, uh, yeah, well, I got I got my agents and all. I'm kind of uh, inundated. I, I've got the real line on it now, and yeah. uh, I'll, give, I'll give you the info off the air. Yeah, I, well, you. I don't want any help. I just do it on my on my own abilities. <laughs> Dave, yeah. I'm giving you the break of your life. Uh, I don't want Stan. I don't want a break. Everything's going fine. I've been doing some plays. Going to be in the Dave. Tropic you'll Ma- have a chance to meet Don. Look in Tropic Magazine and see my mug the next two Sundays. So All things right, are going real. Okay, I've only been doing this for less than a year, so I'm you know. I'm not panicking. Okay. But, you know, the Vice thing's going good. we got some people that are working on that for me and all. So. Okay. So, anyway, that's me. I wanted to talk to Mr. Olmos for a minute and um, tell you that this is really a strange coincidence because just a few days ago, I one of the only movies that I've ever bought and added to my collection, because usually I rent them, was uh, what the fellow was mentioning a few minutes ago, was Blade Runner. And I bought it like about four years ago, and I just looked at it again just a few days ago for the first time, like in about two or three years. And I just wanted to let you know that I really liked you in that movie, and I thought you did a fantastic job. And uh, I was just hoping maybe you could pass along to me and whoever else is interested just exactly, you know, like where that was filmed. And I guess it was mostly on a set. Well, I guess like 99.9% of the movie was on a set, wasn't it? Yeah, th- that was a, a really an epic, and uh, I think was... Um there was a lot of situations that came about from that, but uh, basically it was Ridley Scott's uh, third film, uh, after the second one after Alien. 
Yeah. And uh, it was a tremendous experience working with him. The, the man spent uh, many hours to try to perfect uh, the situation. They built an entire city yeah. uh, in uh, in the Burbank Studios. And uh, I'll tell you, they spent, Stan, $40 million. Mm. It looked like film. it. Too. Yeah, <clears throat> I think it's one of the... Gee, that's almost, almost like one Miami Vice episode. Yeah, just about. A little less, actually. <laughs> him at, was it him and his brother? Was it his Tony Scott, too? Was it both of them? Is that no, his? no, just uh, Ridley worked on that one. Tony is a, a tremendous uh, <laughs> filmmaker yeah. also. He's, he works real hard. But, but when uh, your, your role in that, I forget the guy's name. Gaff. Replicant. And uh, the way they fixed you up and all, you just you looked really neat in that. I was just it must have been really fun to like not only be able to act in a movie with all the people that were in that movie and all, but be able to hand you know to mess around with all the toys that they gave you in that thing too. There was everything worked. That was what's unusual. I don't know if you've ever seen it, Stan, but they had uh, these spinners. They call these cars that actually the only thing they didn't do was fly. And I think the only reason it didn't fly is because we couldn't fly them. Uh, but uh, literally, they worked really extraordinary, and the entire entire panel worked and it was I often wondered why it worked <laughs> to uh -huh. be honest with you I mean I don't know what they did with the cars after they were done but uh, they spent over a million the one that I highly recommend for Stan to see and I'd like to hear his criticism I'd, I'd on that it. did you really it's great wow. you're kidding did you oh, really? I loved it. Yeah, I was on uh, <clears throat> I think about two months ago most unusual and I film. saw that you were billed I said I want to watch that it's a real unusual film that one and uh, along with uh, Saving Grace is the one that I did right before I joined. And that's all the show. over the cable now. So yeah. the, the Blade Runner, did they, uh, when they made you up... What, what, you you gotta, you, have you got a, a, an obsession with this movie, well, Dave? You what must is understand, this? Stan, like if, you if you haven't seen the film, you can't really comment yeah. on it like yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, because I'll tell you, it's not a film. It's it's really an event. The, and the it's like it's, it's become like a, a, a cult real classic. Event. I like Amazing. On, Dave, on the screen. Dave, your boss is waiting in the wings, Dave. i got to move on. Goodbye. <laughs> Love you, Dave. <laughs> I was right. for a book of matches so I could split some matches. Hi, Michael. 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 Hello, Michael. I want to meet the other How Michael. God bless. You. How are you? I met you briefly a while ago. Good it's, good to, it's good to be here. This is Talbot's uh, twin brother. Everybody so scared the heck out of him when he... Isn't it weird? Yeah. Talbot, the day that he was here, Let's he and I joked about it. Let's see how close the resemblance is. No, I look... I No. Chubby baby I look cheeks? I have chubby baby cheeks, yes. <laughs> I'll tell you. Another, Michael uh, should look so good. Another 40 pounds. <laughs> and, uh, Tom, I'll look like Tom Selleck, but uh, not now. <laughs> really? Do you promise? <laughs> I'm working on it. Did I tell you I lost 10 pounds last week? Who cares? Thanks. Good to hey, see you, too, I Sam. I had an operation yesterday. I didn't have a chance to talk about it. You lost 10 How pounds. How is it? How is it? Well, I saw Are you sitting on that okay? inner tube, and I was wondering what the story was behind it. Listen, <laughs> I want to thank you. It's been great. We have a couple of people holding on, but they're regulars, and my dear, I don't want to talk to either one of them. So hang up on those people, okay? Yeah. The first one I'm angry with, and the second one I'm tired of. All right. And you know, it's there my it's my day not to feel good. All right. Good. Well, only on one Ed, half. Thank of you. you. Stan, I must tell don't you. say a thing to Johnson when you get back. I, I won't. I won't have to. No, They'll tell. No, me. Believe me, they wire your show right no, into his, right into his Winnebago. No, right in the gray limo there. I'm telling you. <laughs> Dan, I mean, he takes daily reports. You know that are. But does he listen there. to morning? Oh, he listens. To oh, them. come really on. Oh, <laughs> lighten up, Stan. <laughs> Who would listen to news in the morning? Yeah, nobody. That's why I don't quite do it that Your way. Your ratings are up. You're doing That's fine. Right. Relax. Doing That's Jeez. Right. I can't. Remember. We're going to find out all about the ratings. When we come back on the show. Again, thank you very much. My best to everybody. My love to Olivia. Oh. You're, let me tell you, I'll express oh, your love to I Olivia. I understand she's not uh, going with that football area anymore. So no, she, she might be, uh, you know, uh, I'm a single guy. Yeah, but you have that audition, Stan. Oh, Stan, I'll you listen, have to I'll come by fine. the show. That's why I was sent down here to do me by the show. I've got to bring you by there because uh, Dan's, I mean, Don's got uh, a couple of things that he really needs to talk to you about. Yeah, right. Very important. I can imagine. He wants to thank you personally and give you the... Uh, a special award. Oh, God. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I can imagine what's going to be. He's probably going to throw me in the river. <laughs> now, he actually wanted you to ride in his boat <gasps> in the back. Oh. <laughs> no, no. Are you joking, Stan? Uh, <laughs> no, I must say thank you. I must th say I'm not thank gonna, you to I'm not going to have issues. anything to do with that guy with all the crazy <clears throat> things he does with the boats. and. Uh, he was supposed to go up with the Thunderbirds. Did he ever do that? I'm not sure. Um, he's been talking about doing that. Uh, 
I hope that he gets a chance to. It's quite an experience yeah. flying around in an F-16. Let me tell you. He looks like he's got to. He's acting like he's do it all before he, you know, pass another birthday or something. He's going to try to slow down. I wish he'd slow down. Well, I mean, just a little bit on the weekends. Yeah, look how well Stan is holding up with that philosophy. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. He's looking very Become well. Become a potato, Don. <laughs> It'll be good for you. Again, to you, Stan, thank you, and to WINZ, thank you for your commitment with the children's huddle. That's what I came in here to say and to arrest you and to say, uh, honestly, uh, thank you are now um, going off the air. Don Johnson is going to take your place. Oh, really? Yep, he wants the show. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> Eddie, thank you. I do thank want to come down sometime. I'd like to come down when you're shooting inside, though, mm -hmm. uh, because then everybody's there usually. Right? Come down Friday. That'd be great. We'll be shooting Friday inside, and everybody will be there. Are you serious? I'm serious. You really want me to come down? I would love for you to come down. <clears throat> uh, as my know. guest. Uh, <laughs> what's the address? Is what's the address? address? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a, I'll give it to you after because I don't want to get in trouble okay. for putting it over uh, here. All right. No, I'm just we'll Everybody knows where it is, but we're sure. not going to. Well, okay. Uh, let's uh, take a break here. And again, my thanks to Eddie Almas of Miami Vice. And when we come back, we're going to talk about the ratings if we can get our, our, our hot little hands on a copy. And I'm going to do this next hour. Is that all right? Because I don't feel like doing it now. All right? Okay, we'll be back. Broward. Uh, Mr. Major, WINZ, please. Yes, sir. This is Mr. Major. Uh, this is Trevor Plantagetus. I'm a regional sales manager for Giorgio. <laughs> uh, how may I be of service to you? I just got a call from one of my salespeople. Uh, well, uh, what can I tell you, Trevor? I'm asking, is there some way I may assist you? No, I don't need any Audience? assistance. No. Only, only when somebody wears Giorgio around me, then I need assistance. Well, what do you wear, an Old Spice? Yeah, I'm wearing Old Spice. Okay. Okay. Well, this is Trevor Plantagenet signing off, and um, that Old Spice just don't cut it. Okay. Unless you're an old fart. Okay, well, uh, take a little swig of Giorgio, man. It'll really uh, clean your system up. I sell it. Okay, I'm sure you do. Dave. Hello, Stan. Hello there, young man. This is Mr. Ed Jr. How are you doing? Good. Ed, how are you? Well, real fine. You know, Wilbur and I were sitting around talking the other day, and we were saying how my stall smells better than that Giorgio stuff. <laughs> well, it's what do you think, man? I think you're right. Uh, you know, you're pretty smart for a dumb horse. Well, you know what they say. A horse is a horse. Oh, of course. Of course. Of course a horse is a horse. Of course. I mean, what do you think it is, a dog? <laughs> okay, Ed. Hello, Stan. Yes, Ed. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks for calling. Thanks for talking. Okay, Ed. Give my best to Wilbur. Okay. Bye-bye. Oh, bye. bye. <laughs> yes. Hey, okay, pasa. Hey, I, I calling you today because I, I want to invite you for a all expense a trip down here to uh, Atlantic City South in Havana, Cuba. Oh, Havana. Sí, pero, uh, oh. you, have to, you have to believe in Fidel Jr. Uh, it, it, this is Fidel uh, Castro Jr. Very good. Junior, Fidel Jr. See, sí, Castro, my daddy. Yeah, very good. See, sí, because he's go, he going to die very soon, and then it will be Fidel Jr. and we be the best place in the world for you. So we bring you down here so you make lots of propaganda in Miami. So all the tourists come down here, spend lots of money, and buy cigars. Very good. Uh, can, can I make friends with the KGB and the GRU? Oh, yes, yes, of course. The KGB be down here, but we, we be calling it the KGG because uh, it's going to be only girls. K oh, <laughs> wow. No, the Russian, they're too ugly, so we have the Cubano women down here, man. And they're into whips and chains? Ah, whips right. and chains. And they're leather? But you have to give us lots of propaganda in Miami because we hear there's lots of, lots of Cubanos that don't like you in Miami. Oh, yes, there are. Okay, uh, good to hear from you. I got to go. Bye. My best to your daddy. Okay, Lori has the 4 o'clock news. I'll abrear the traffic, and we'll be back. Doctors agree. The J. Michael Show will cure what ails you. But you got to be sick to listen in the first place. 10 to 2 middays on WINZ, Miami, Fort Lauderdale. 
Four o'clock at Wednesday afternoon from the newsroom. I'm Lori Shepard. Here's what's happening. Officials say FBI agents and a robbery suspect are six to nine feet in the bay and inland waters are rough. Right now, raining throughout Broward and Dade County. 65 degrees in Miami. It's 68 in Fort Lauderdale. The Stan Major Show continues on WINZ. If you'd like to participate on today's program, you can call Stan on 624-9400 in Dade or 524-9400 in Broward. And now, here again, Stan Major. That's from the movie Dirty Dancing, the story of two Russian defectors, males... So get together and make a movie. He's got the number one show in the market. But when he opens up the line, sometimes he becomes an easy target. So Jack F. calls and says, my house. We know they're just enough. So if you don't like Stan's major... Okay, it is an unscreened uh, quiet there, Dushki. It is an unscreened Thursday. I am answering the telephone all by my little lonesome. John is up there just uh, relishing in taking the day off and uh, saying, Where's Al? Where's Al? Well, it's raining, you know. Not only do they not shoot a Miami Vice in the rain, but I guarantee you one other thing that regardless of the weather, a Brera goes up. I mean, uh, you know, I like the guy and everything, but boy, I mean, he's, uh, oh, ow. Mm. Scary sometimes what he does. But the show must go on, right? Isn't that what they say? Is that what they say, Broward? Oh, yeah. The show must go on. Hey, guess who was calling you a lard ass this morning? Who's that? The guy at the other end of the station. Oh, no kidding. Yes, he was. Really? Mr. 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 Lardass. He Mr. Was Rogers, huh? Yes, he was. Hmm. Hey, I found a, a great thing to use Giorgio for. What's that? I cut it down 20 to 1 and use it to unclog sinks. Yeah, somebody called in about that yesterday. It works great. Uh-huh. Yeah. Listen, I, I got somebody here who wants to say something to you. Hold on. Okay. You're out of this world. That was Alf Jr. Was it really? Yeah. Alf Jr. Yeah, or B Square. Okay, that's great. Stan. Okay. Stan, I'm going out of town this week, and I wonder if I could call you correct. Absolutely. I've got to go fix Mickey's garbage disposal. Okay, well, I'll be on from 6 to 10 Saturday. All right, Stan. That's 6 a.m. Okay, Stan. Okay. One more thing. Yeah. A whisker for your thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we know what you do in the afternoon before the kids get home. That's one of those video toys, right? Isn't it? Something like that? Yeah. Hello. Sam. Hey. How are you? Great. Listen, I want to bring up a point that uh, nobody has failed to mention. Um, isn't it funny that how the, that a guy before you got one of the Miami Vice stars on the show, and you've been trying for months? No, he was on my show. Yeah, only because he was on Jay's before yours. Yeah, well, he asked to stick around. Well, no, he, he failed to miss the point I'm bringing across. Yeah. If he was to do a little more charity work for the community, he might get something back out of it. Oh, I see. Okay. Bye, Lord Ash. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Hello, Broward. Dan. Yeah. Lord Ash Jr. How are you? All right. What's happening? My wife wears a Giorgio. Okay. I wear a windbreaker. <laughs> Okay. You're the greatest. Thank you, babe. Uh, you know, some of them you can understand, some of them it takes a little while to figure out, if ever. Dade. Sam. Hello. Congratulations on your ratings. Thank you, dear. And I need to thank you. I called my niece up because um, last month she asked me to pick her up to go to this wedding, and I almost had to get out of the car because of what she was wearing. Uh-oh. I did not ask her what it was because she usually wears something called poison. Yes. I assumed it was bad, but I had to, like, roll down the windows. We had to shut off the air conditioning. And I called her and go, Bye, could it be that you're wearing Giorgio? Is that it? And after I told her everything you're going through, she decided to pitch it. No kidding. So I'm sure it'll be great for everybody who works with her. Oh, boy. And I want to tell you, it was in Sears last Thursday, mm -hmm. and I took along my two-year-old niece, and I've taught her when she picks up the phone to say mobile. So 
So there was this little Jeep that had, like, a CB thing. She was sitting in it, and I was standing a couple feet away from her. She picked that up and said, mobile. <laughs> <laughs> so this oriental couple comes by, and they start just laughing. Like, I knew they knew what was going on. That's funny. Okay, Stan. Thank you, dear. All righty, bye-bye. Thank you. Sounds vaguely familiar, huh? Little Miss Mobile. Little Miss Mobile? How are you? Good. How are you? Fine. Um, Stan, we know know what you think of Giorgio. What do you think of that impasta of Giorgio? Primo? It's like the cheap version? I, I don't think I've smelled it. Oh, well, you're lucky then. Oh. You mean uh, I have something to look forward to? Yeah, it smells like Giorgio mixed with formaldehyde. Oh, hmm? God. So stay away from those impostas. Oh, boy. Yeah. What perfume do you like? Uh, I like uh, opium. Mm, that's nice. Uh, white linen. That's nice. Uh, I like a whole bunch. I can't think of them right now. Mm-hmm. But uh, there's some really nice perfumes. I do like Joy, but Joy, uh, you know, some women don't like Joy. Uh, joy doesn't go with some women. I guess that's the best way to put yeah, it. I'm not familiar with Joy. Yeah, it's uh, very expensive. Is it? Yeah. Well, then that leaves it out of my range. Okay. Um, also, one. I like. Uh, I also like honest, honest. Honest, honest. And Anise, anise. I just. I call it that just for just for fun. Okay. Well, what is it? It's perfume. Perfume. Yeah. Haven't you ever heard of it? No. Oh, okay. But um. And I like obsession for men. Oh, well, I have obsession for women. That's good. Yeah, it's strong when you first put it on, but it's nice. Yeah, it is nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And also, one more thing. Yes. Everyone here says to buy a house. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. Okay. Bye-bye. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you doing, Durden? Okay. Boy, all the women are suddenly calling. What's happening? Oh, by the way, it's Anais, Anais. Anais, Anais. Okay. Well, I call it Honest, Honest. No, it's Anais, Anais. Let me have my fun. What do you look like? I've never seen your picture. Well, you know, I'm all right. What do you mean you're all right? I'm okay. You okay? Yeah, I'm bald, fat. You're bald? Short. Fat? Yeah. yeah. Uh-oh, I shouldn't be calling you then. Why? You only going to call <laughs> men who are good-looking? That guy? You want my picture? You, you don't look like Neil, do you? No. Do you want my picture? Yeah, I want your picture. Okay, well, send me a, uh, send me a note. Okay. A letter, a postcard. Okay. With your return address, and I'll, uh... Send a picture off. Let me ask you something. What? If we were to go on a honeymoon, where would you take me? God, I hardly know you. So? What's the problem? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. It depends on what you like. Well, would it, be, would it be winter or would it be summer? Summer. Oh, okay. Definitely. All right. Well, send me a picture, okay? Well, if you send me a note, I'll send you a picture. Oh, I'll send you the note, you... Gee. Darling. That's the way it works. Okay, kiddo. Okay. Take care. What's your first name? Elizabeth. Okay, Liz. Bye. Bye. Elizabeth, not Liz. Yes, yeah, well, excuse me. <laughs> Bye-bye. Hey, bye. The address is Stan Major, W-I-N-Z, Miami, 33055. 33055. That's incredible. I may get a piece of mail from her. I may come in here someday and there may be an actual piece of mail. That has nothing to do with NBA basketball in my mailbox. Incredible. You know, if the Heat were to uh, spend a little more money on players and less on postage, they might, uh, you know, they might do much better. Who knows? Hello, Dade. Hello, Stan. Yes. It's Neil Jr. How are you? Pretty good, Stan. What's up? What? Huh? Say what? What? What was this that I heard before about your raise, Stan? Yes, how are you? What, what, what kind of response is that to that question? Are you being evasive? Did what raise? Piper High? The only raise I've gotten has been when Nancy walked by with Giorgio on this afternoon. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, listen, I'm surprised at your age. That's pretty uh, amazing. How are you feeling? How am I feeling? Yeah, did you get some rest? I can get, Stan. Pardon me? Let me I'm... say it again. Say it again. By the way, did you uh, you met the uh, guy who was from England, Michael, last night at the melting pot? Yeah, I told him you had a crush on him. Oh, I do. He called this morning, and uh, I think we may be uh, we may be setting new standards in British uh, love. Listen, he called here. Did he really? Today? Yeah, he called. Yeah, he called about. Uh, Give between... my home number. 
He called. <laughs> now, listen, he admitted that he uh, had a lot of respect for the Queen when he called. <laughs> I said, those British men, what a sense of humor. Uh, how are you doing? I'm doing it. Like I said, anybody I can. Is the car in the shop yet? No, Big Dave is outside guarding it right now. Really? Yes, he keeps uh, just walking round and round it, admiring it. He's got a mirror. <laughs> Keeps looking at himself, ah. walking around the Ferrari. Ah. Have you driven it yet? Too, by the way. Huh? He's getting very excited too, by the way. Yeah, have Have you driven it? Have I driven it? Yeah. No. Well, when is going? When is this fateful day? This day that's going to be uh, living infamy, in recorded to... history. When Neil Rogers drives his own Ferrari. We're taking it to Utah to the Salt Lake uh, to the Salt Flats. <laughs> Don't do that. Just go out on the sawgrass, like I told you. Same difference. There's nobody on the sawgrass. But what about your race, Dan? You can go 180 out there. Notice he's being evasive again. I think he went to Piper High. I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, I'm we a... heard about that new contract. I saw what new contract? I saw Gary in the hallway, and he said, Did "You have a good time last night." Yeah. And then he sped into his office. What can I tell you? Evasive too. I was going to see him when I got off the air today, and he came in late. Uh oh. You know what that means, don't you? Well, I guess you and I are going to have to uh, buy a radio station. By the way, uh, I do have an offer on that. An offer on what? Uh, there are some people who are interested in buying us a station. Really? What, Exxon or Mobile? <laughs> mobile? <laughs> Come on, Neil. We're being serious here. Are we really? Yeah. What station would you like to have? How about uh, Hot 105? It's for sale. Okay. Got a good signal. Yeah, we're talking big money here. In the desperate, uh, dire straits. How about you in the morning and me in the afternoon? Oh, you in the midday. Okay. You in the morning, me in the midday. And uh, then we'll just shut down at 2 o'clock, you know, I mean... Good idea. We'll go, we'll automate. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. I've automated talk. <laughs> we could hire Tom Likas. There you go. <laughs> he, could, he could certainly fill your seat in the afternoon and about two or three others, too. That's right. Maybe we could hire Tom Likas and Larry Kent. We can have big guy talk. <laughs> I, I heard that uh, Larry Kent stuff this morning. That was hilarious. What is he doing? What? Where is Larry Kent today? Larry is at uh, Joyless 107. You're kidding. Yep. Really? You ought to see the size of his office, man. <laughs> Looks like Arlene Ross's butt. <laughs> oh, come on, Neil. Jeez, you're bringing up all the oldies and goodies. I know. Yeah. Like I'll all say... the carts that you're playing. Yeah. Same difference. Say something about Gene Cashman. I think you need a few more juniors on the show. At least when we get calls in the morning from high school kids, it's mostly seniors. Yeah, I heard the, uh, who was the lovely young lady? This Allison this morning? Allison, Jason, and Leo from Piper High, man. That was one of the great calls in history. Yeah, I didn't know that. And uh, it goes to show you about my show, the effect it has on the community. Uh, by the time we got through with the call, it turns out that Leo and Jason have got a thing going. No kidding. Oh, it sure sounded like it. Wow. Well, that's the influence that Mr. Rogers has in the neighborhood. Oh, so they say, yeah. Yeah. I drove past Piper High the other day. Boy, that's a scary-looking place, man, with the uh, all fenced in and everything, you know. Well, the kids that uh, are unruly that they can't get into line at Terra Vella High up in Coral Springs, they send them down to Piper. Oh, is that it? Exactly. <laughs> Make them eat ice cream from Brian's store. Did you have a good time last night? Did I have a good time? I had a marvelous time. By the way, you lied through your teeth. There were no people that came by first to see you, but that's okay. <laughs> all came in the back, and when we finished introducing everybody, including uh, people who have nothing to do with the radio station. <laughs> By the way, Stan is... Oh, come on now. Get off my back, will you? True story. Mm -hmm. There were some interesting people in there last night, by the way. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Trust me, I'm going to start hanging around up there a lot. Yeah, who was that strange-looking female? You mean the one with the uh, leopard uh, outfit on? Yeah. She was a... Uh, she she was... didn't even come over to say hello to me. She was a Lee Gillette groupie, man. She was... Oh, one of those. Oh, yeah. Bomb oh, out of boy. Hmm? Oh, boy. Well, that uh, that classic rock will do it to you, you know. That play Misty for me? Yeah, right. One of those kind, huh? Kind of like Evelyn, yeah. Yeah. Well, listen, uh, I'll, I'll give Gary your best if I see him pass me by real fast in the hall again. Yeah, yeah. if he's going to be there tomorrow, I'll uh, wait. Yeah, well, we, uh, let's see, I only have, what, uh, 15 days left on my contract? Mm -hmm. And you want a new one? Well, I want at least uh, a little something, you know, a little bone. Yeah, right. I don't mean that $55 bonus either. Probably yet. a good time for him to leave town again. Well, I understand he is leaving Monday and Tuesday. He's got another one of these big, uh, highfalutin corporate meetings. <laughs> Means he's out looking for a job, I guess. <clears throat> good. Well, I wouldn't do that, not with the great success that you and I have brought him. Yeah, it doesn't seem to help, though, does it? No, it doesn't. So uh, I'm going to talk to you about these people that want to buy one of these stations for us. Are you serious? Yeah, it would be incredible, wouldn't it? 
What do you mean they want to buy one of these stations? They want to buy a radio station for you and me. Well, that sounds good to me. Well, okay. We'll start. All right. We'll get Casper to run it. Oh, forget about him. <laughs> Shined him today. <laughs> I did. I shined him. He's getting on my nerves. He just drives me nuts, you know. He's why don't you uh, Why don't you take him to lunch and, uh, you know, learn how to drive that uh, $55,000 car. It's money, and, and I can't relate to it, you know. Put him, I mean? put him in the other seat and give him the ride of his life. Who, Casper? Yeah. Yeah, we'll put him in the same seat that uh, Larry Kent sits in. <laughs> okay, Neil. Invite it to the East Ocean Restaurant in Fort Lauderdale, by the way. Oh, yeah? Tonight at 7.30. Tonight? Yeah. I ate out last night. You mean you're not going with me tonight? I didn't know anything about it. Well, that's just a surprise. That was the main purpose of my call. <sighs> I'll talk to you at 6. Well, it's at 7.30. Well, can I call you at 6? Following me so far? Yes. Can I call you at 6? This is at 4040 Golden Manor Hotel. Why not tell everybody? Let's bring a crowd. Let's get them some business. The sponsor on EFM on Zeta. <laughs> God only knows we need a man, let me tell you. <laughs> we could have an 82 share and they still can't sell it. You know that. Come on, your spots are picking up and so are mine. Admit it. True, everything is marvelous. We're really doing it. Yep. In fact, uh, when I hang up, I'm going to start doing it right here in the house. That's okay, it. Neil. Dave is backing the car out right now, but that's the way he is. You know? Okay. Not too friendly. Okay, I'll, well, listen. I'll call you at 6. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. Uncle Neil, in person. Right here on a show, and we're late for the break. Let's do it. The latest results are in from the Arbitron Rating Service and WINZ's. Thank you, listeners, for once again making Stan Majors the number one talk host on radio, two to six weekdays. From two to six, I'll you kiss my tongue. I love to hear him talk about Twinkies and Trollin'. I guess you'll say what can make me feel that way. But sometimes I wish at four o'clock the phone would keep a right on the rollin'. If you're down, the show will lift you right out of your rut. If you don't like Stan Major, what will you do? You can kiss my butt. Absolutely. We don't want any youngsters now singing that in the school, okay? That's naughty. And unscreened Thursday continues here on the major program. Uh, Broward. Broward. Hello? Yeah. How are you doing today, Stan? Okay. How are you? Hey, I'm in there. Um, just wanted to uh, congratulate you on your numbers. Yeah, you sound like Scott. How are you? Hey, Scott is here. Yeah, from Zeta. Uh, 94.9. Very good. Wow. Yeah, well, yeah. you know, like we're going to rock right in here to Thursday afternoon. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The wow. Shining, the sun is shining. The sun yeah. Out. Oh, boy. Uh, hiya, Scott. Hey. Yeah. It's better than, uh... Hey there, boy, you don't cross neighborhood weather. <laughs> sounds like, uh... Sounds like another good friend of mine. Kermit the Frog, hi there. Put him up on the panel, John. Go ahead. Hi. Hi. Well, yeah, you were a little bit distant there. Hmm. That's the story of my life. Yeah, so now... I heard today now nobody's writing to you either, huh? That's it. They stopped calling, and now they're not writing. Boy, I'll tell you. Well, they're calling today, but that's only because I'm answering the phone. Yeah, it's an unscreened directo. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Yeah, I um, I was just kind of taking it easy today and uh, heard some of those mung brain callers and figured I'd uh, give you a quick buzz here at uh, four thirty in the afternoon. How'd you like the last caller? Um, you know, I didn't just caught the end of the uh, that conversation. I wasn't really... Call it, calling me up and putting me on the spot to go out and eat with him. Can you believe that? Want Before you... thousands of people. Want you to go eat with him? Eat with him, yeah. 
Any place in particular? Or? No, well, you know, I mean, he always picks the places, right? I mean, I never get to pick the places. Right. You should tell him, look, uh, I'll go, but... Uh, well, it's my turn to pick the spot, you know? Yeah, you know, my, uh, you know, he, you know, he buys and you pick. That's all. No, you do. He's he's got a he's got a freebie coming. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. So yeah, since he's got a freebie coming, he yeah. might as well say, okay, mm. I'll take my good pal Stan out. It's not going to cost me any money. There you go. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Yep, I know that. That's the name of that tune. Okay. All right, listen. Have, <laughs> have a good afternoon, and we'll speak to you soon. Okay, possum. All right, bye. Okay. Oh, you can't say that at the end of a conversation, can you? You have to say that at the beginning of a conversation. Yeah, Uncle Neil, how about letting little old Stan pick the restaurant once, huh? Broward. Hey, Stan? Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Good. I tell you, that, uh, Neil with that Ferrari, that's something, isn't it? Isn't that incredible? I wonder, you know, that monthly payment must be pretty big. I bet you it's almost as big as his monthly payment on Big Dave. Oh, come on, fella. Just a joke. Get off of it, will you? Just a joke. Yeah, I know. The thing I wanted to tell you, Stan, is you came back from your vacation in a great mood. Yeah. I'll tell you, it's been two weeks now. Yeah. You're still in a great mood. Well, I wonder why. There's something must be going on real good in your life. I want to tell you, it's really serious, too. Well, I'm happy to hear it, Stan. Yeah. I Stan, mean, we're talking, right. we're talking serious here, friends. Okay. Yeah? Well, we'll be ready. Yeah. Another radio first. First heterosexual, heterosexual marriage on the air. Oh, come on. Uh, we don't want to jump the gun. Nah, come on. All right, Stan, really, you're a great guy. Good show. Okay. Take care. Thank you. God, can you imagine the wedding gifts I would get? <laughs> uh, uh, quiet, Blondie. Yes? Hello, this is Pete L. Laurie, Jr., and I'm calling you because you get me so angry. You've got that rodent Mickey Mouse on the radio. <laughs> and he was winking and blinking. I'm going to come down there with my microwave oven. <laughs> Pop goes the weasel. <laughs> How was that for a Peter Laurie Jr.? That's good. I'm glad to like it, Uncle Stan. I was driving on I-95 in Hallandale, and the blue hairs with their signals were winking and blinking on the left, and they would make a right, and then line up doing 30 miles an hour on I-95. So I took out my knitting needles, and I chased him up the highway. Bye-bye, blue hair. Is that okay, Uncle Stan? <laughs> That's great. Oh. You, if you keep working on it, you might make Uncle Neil's show. You, Neil who? <laughs> I thought I'd get you on that one. <laughs> Listen, why don't we have a junior <laughs> championship meeting? <laughs> we could have a junior off here. I was going to say that, but I was afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Peter Laurie, Jr. Oh, thank you so much, Stan. Okay. Keep up the great work. <laughs> and you keep looking for that strange bird, will you? Uh, okay, thanks a lot. Bye. Guy's great. I wonder who it is. Uh, Dade. Hey, Stan. Yeah. Hey, Stan, if, if you and Neil buy that radio station, can we get those dirty songs back? Yeah. Oh, no, seriously, can we stand? Absolutely. I tell you, I stand, you know what the call letters ought to be? W-F-A-G. <laughs> okay, bye. Hello? <laughs> Another crazy Cuban. Hello? Dade. Dade? Hello, Dade. Broward. Are you? Are you? Yeah, Jimmy. Are you? Jimmy? I'm right here, brother. Hey, how are you, Mr. President? Very good. Good. Where you been? I've been writing on all your phone to call on you, buddy. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. How was that Peter Lord? I thought he was dead and gone. Yeah, well, we revived him. Okay, take it easy, brother. Okay. 
You know, if that uh, kind of thing keeps up, Michael Jackson's going to demand copies of our show. Let's take a break, John. And we'll continue with an unscreened Thursday right here on the major program on WINS. The latest results are in from the Arbitron Rating Service. And WINZ says thank you, listeners, for once again making WINZ South Florida's most listened to news talk station. Thank you for news, WINS. Absolutely. Let's continue with an unscreened Thursday on the major program. Hello. <laughs> How you doing, Stan? How are you? Everything's fine. Just Everything is mellow. I talked to Uncle Hill this morning. <laughs> he said I could give you a call and say hello. Not great, buddy. <laughs> yes. So I'll take it easy, Stan. Okay. Boy, boy. Okay, boy, boy. Oh, what are we, are we losing the phones now or something? Hello, Broward. Stan, this is Don Cleone Jr. Pretty bad, sir. Hey, Stan. Mm. Go back to work, sir. What are you talking about, Stan? I'm going to talk to you. Okay. That's pretty bad. I could, if I can do a better godfather, you know it's bad. Dade. Hello, Stan. How are you? I'm good. How you doing? Are you on a mobile? Yeah. Where are you? I'm on I-95, head south. How's it look? It looks slick, but clear. Where are you? Uh, just going over 79th Street. Okay. You happy now? You got all the information? That's what I wanted. Listen, I want to know, where do I send your gift when you get engaged? I was going to send you a case of Giorgio. <laughs> Any special address? No, I'm afraid not. I also, I found out the real true manufacturer of Giorgio. Who's that? Santa Flush. <laughs> and nobody knows that, so I don't want anybody, I don't want to... <laughs> What kind of Ferrari did uh, Neil buy? What do you mean, what kind of Ferrari? What model? It's like a red one. No, that's a color. You know what it was? <laughs> I'm just curious. I, you know, I, I don't know. It's a three zero eight eight. That's the same. The same one that's on uh, that Magnum that on the Magnum PI. That's the one. That's the three zero eight. I thought it was Miami Vice. No, Miami Vice, the Testarossa. Oh, okay. That's the difference between them. The the one he bought at the Miami Vice one is about uh, maybe fifty or sixty thousand. You're kidding. No, no, no. But anyway, I uh, I wish it was the last car in the well, world. He's, he's going to be. Uh, He's going to be destroyed when he finds out that Don Johnson's got a better car than him. Yeah, well, maybe not once he hears the difference in price. Yeah. Anyway, listen, great ratings. Keep it up. Thank you. Good to hear from you. Bye. Thank you. Yeah, pal. Hey. Hey. What? Whoa, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. What the hell's going on here? What do you mean? I was picking it up on line three on the phone there. <laughs> What's going on, buddy? How are you? Oh, I'm all right, man. I'm great now. Listen, your buddy Neil just called. Yeah, I heard, man. Uh, we, you, didn't, you don't know what happened after I left, do you, buddy? No. Me and Dave, we were racing all over the place, buddy. Were you really? My Ferrari kicked his head. Really? <coughs> but. Well, you got the Testarossa, right? Sure, pal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy lets me buy his too, you know. So yeah. what's going on? Nothing. Who's this Mickey character, yeah, Mickey, man? Uh, Mickey wants to be friends with you. Yeah, he can be friends with me, buddy. I'll put set traps outside my. <laughs> <laughs> but he wants you to get a haircut like everybody else. Nobody wants me to get a haircut. Everybody like... wants you to get a haircut. Oh, everybody wait, at the melting pot see... last night said, "Why don't? Why didn't he get a haircut?" Who? Are the people that saw me last night? 
All those guys that were hot for your body. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's why, see. They look at me from behind. Oh, and... I see. Okay. Oh. Yeah. But uh, thank you. Last night was fun. Did you uh, make it to the button okay? Yeah, I made it. Just, uh, you know, put, kick the. F I finally mm. get to put it in fifth gear, you yeah, know? Yeah, right. Just kick it in fifth gear and you just speed past everybody. That's it, you know. Yeah, sure. No, I made it to the club and had a good time. Did E.T. ever make it by? No. Why? What happened? Who knows? Well, you know, ever since he made that album. Yeah, ever since he made that record. I don't know, man. No, he didn't make any album. All right, okay, and a record. Yeah, he's, uh, you know, his head's getting uh, a, a lot redder. <laughs> Just, yeah, that's good. Well, I, I tell you, you know, if, it, if he gets a second, look out if he, if when the second side of the record comes out. You know, he, he'll probably never call me again. He won't be my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Make that second side, and it'll be good to, good to Don who? Don Johnson Jr. who? <laughs> That's all right, Scott. Hey, I've got hey, a... I still like you, buddy, pal. Hey. What? I got a number. What's that? You got a number for me? Yeah, I got a number that we ought to dial sometime. <laughs> Let's do it now, pal. No, no, you know, I don't I want love, to do it now, I love no. getting beat. No, no, I don't want to do it. Who's it Who's it to? Who do you think? EJ? No. No? A number. Who would it be? Oh, Miami Vice. Let's do it, pal. Not them either. No? Him. Who? Him. Him. Don? God. God himself. Oh, my God. Don Johnson? Don Johnson. You got his number? I got a number. Come on, pal. Let's... I'm not scared. Well, I'm scared. I don't want to... Dial blow. it and I'll say hello. No, nah, come on. Come on, let's no, do no, it. No, no, I'm not going to... I'm not going to do it. I'll just be nice. I'll say hi to Don Jr. I'm, you know, over here on with Stan Majors and nah, he wants nah, to talk to you. No, no, no. I'm not going to do it. Read scripts for you. No, nah, I'm not going to do it. He wants to wash your car. <laughs> Shine his shoes. You know, I don't care. Shine his shoes. He wants to do anything... You want him to do. I want to be his friend. Within reason. Except give up his girlfriend. I don't even think you would do that for Don. <clears throat> Speaking of which, Lori looked absolutely fabulous last night. She always does. She does. She's a yeah, good looking girl. Yeah, she does. Girl. And, uh, you know, she's got the hots for you, but what can I tell you? <laughs> what did I tell you about that, Stan? I like to watch, man. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, listen, I've still got this phone number, and... Uh, Let's call know. it. Stand. No, I'm not going to do that. Why? Because I, I, look, if Eddie almost is serious about me coming down, I don't want to call this number and blow the whole thing. Okay. All right? Well, what, you know, you're going to have to, you're going to have to break down eventually. Yeah, I'm going to have to dial it sometime. Look, if, if, <laughs> you've got to do it. Stan, mm -hmm. you're, it's going to, now I'm crazy. I'm crazier than I was before. Well. I mean, until that I'll happens. tell you, next time you come in the studio, I'll show you the number. How's that? <laughs> Uh, my friend, I can make it there in about ten minutes, buddy. <laughs> nah. Okay, listen, it was great uh, eating with you last night. Yeah, man, um, thank you very much. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, you know, despite the fact that we had a lot of problems keeping your hair out of the pot. <laughs> oh, God, you're telling these people. I, my hair is not that long. <laughs> Somebody called in and said you were trying to compete with Crystal Gale. <laughs> I'm and you know what I told you last night? If you got a haircut, you'd lose 10 pounds. <laughs> I'm prettier than her, babe. Oh, okay. okay. I don't well, know. No, I'm not. Most people my hair, are. Man. The girls that seem that like me, like me for the way I look, pal. I know. And uh, They certainly don't like you for your body. <laughs> and what's wrong with my body? I got a better body than my old man. <laughs> okay, maybe I don't. But I'm getting there. Okay. Okay, pal. All right, Don Jr. Have a good show, buddy. Give my best to your buddy, Neil. Free. Oh. <laughs> Bye. Later, later. Bye. <laughs> Broward. Family the tea. How are you? Good evening. This is your mobile CPA up in Fort Lauderdale. The skies are gray, but you make the drive worthwhile. Okay, now you, the mobiles all have to give us a traffic report today because Al is not airborne. 
Well, in downtown Fort Lauderdale, forget it. I-95 has got to be better than this. Okay. Anyway, Stanley T., I have the greatest phone machine you to listen to if you think you need a lab. I can give you the number off the air or over the air, whichever you want. It's a fantastic Broward number. Uh, hold on. Yes, sir. He's not on the air, is he? John. Is he on the air? Okay, I got you. All right, I got you. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Got this on, John? Hi, this is Chuck. And there he is. And Mike. We cannot come to the phone at this time, so please leave a message at the sound of the phone. However, if you are an ex spouse or an ex in law, we have the creep. Yes, I can't understand it. Our phone system is uh, like, uh, you know, I don't know what's happening to it today. You know what I have a feeling is the phones are like human beings from time to time. And after we exercise them in here by answering them over a period of hours, they get a little tired like I do. You know, the phones just get a little tired and the quality is not, uh, <clears throat> not quite up there. Okay, let's take a break and we'll find out about the traffic from now. We'll be back on the major program. And unscreen Thursday, just keep calling. Let the telephone ring and I will eventually push down on the button like that and say, get off my telephone. We'll be back. Very nice of him. Well, listen, uh, well, I guess you're not a fan of his anymore. Well, I, I still am a fan. Oh, okay. And if he wants to be friends, you can, you know, say so. Okay. Okay, thank you very much, Dan. Bye, Mick. Hello. Broward. Dan. Yeah. I got a question for you. Okay. This isn't from me. This is from um, the guy who picks up um, your garbage. My garbage? Yeah, out at the station. Oh, at the station? Yeah. Yeah. He wants to know if you feel like the tiny charcoal in the barbecue pit of life. Yeah, I do. The tiny charcoal in the barbecue pit of life. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, okay. This is the first time I call. It's a pretty cool show you have there. Thank you. Good to hear from you. All right. Tell, tell him I said hello. Okay, bye. Okay. Broward. Yes, Dan. It's Pee Wee. Yes. It's Pee Wee Junior. How are you? Oh, pretty good. How are you doing? Okay. I'm just sitting in the playhouse listening to your show. Wow. <laughs> hey, keep it up, Dan. The ratings are great. Yeah, sounds like there's oh. sound like sound, sounds like it's body double to me. Yeah, I guess so. Pee Wee double. <laughs> There's nothing worse than one Pee Wee Herman. It's two of them. Yeah, I know. Well, oh. my brother's not here right now. He's the real Pee Wee. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, see you, Dad. Bye. Bye. See, that's the same guy. Isn't that incredible? If we could just find out who that guy is. He does, uh, he did that. He did the Peter Laurie. And he did something else earlier. It's the same guy. And if we could just get him in here on the show, wouldn't that be incredible? Boy. Uh, hello, Dave. Yes, Dan, how you doing, babe? Great. Listen, Sam, first of all, I'd like to congratulate you on your high ratings. Um, I'm so happy you kicked that old Steve Kane's butt. Thank you. I'll tell you. Um, I remember not too long ago, uh, he sent you those flowers. Where did he send you flowers? A funeral wreath. What was it? A funeral wreath. A funeral wreath. Yeah. And, uh, look at the one who's dying. Yeah, right. Real class, huh? God, he has no class. That man makes it more of an ass of himself than no one I ever met. Yep. Tell you something else. Okay. Um, listen, Stan, I'd, I'd just like to ask you a question. Uh, you don't have to answer me if you don't want to. I probably won't. Go ahead. Listen, Stan, where, where, did you, uh, where, where did you start out? Huh? Where was your first place? Where did you start out first? In, uh, Effingham, Illinois. Birmingham, Illinois? Effingham, Illinois. Uh, did you start as a DJ? or? Yeah. You did? Yeah, and I cleaned the toilets. <laughs> you know, the whole thing. I was still in high school. I see. Did you ever do morning drives? Yeah. You, you have done morning drives? Yeah. You, you're not interested in that anymore, huh? Sure. 
Yeah, because, uh, damn, you'd be dynamite in the morning. Oh, yeah, I would. Competing against Mr. Rogers, wouldn't that be great? <laughs> he could call me on one day, and I'd call him the next. That would be something, I'll tell you. Um, it, would, it would be something. You guys would uh, be heavy competition against each other. I know we would. So if anybody wants to offer me, uh, you know, a quarter of a million to uh, beat Neil Rogers in the morning, I'll be happy to take the challenge. Well, you should be getting that now. What does Mr. Rico get over Who there? cares? He's getting those six figures. Who he? cares? Who cares? Okay. He's worth all of five figures. Got to go. Okay, Stan. Take care, babe. Bye. Okay, it's 5 o'clock. Time for the news. And we'll be back right after 5 o'clock news. An update on the traffic from Alabrera. So uh, don't go away. Bush, keep that speed down. The traffic is very dangerous. I should say the movement with these West Flippy Roads in Hollywood and Fort Lauderdale. Slow moving, I-85 approaching State with 84 on that new road bridge crossing. Westbound traffic quite active on 84. Davy Boulevard, Broward, and Sunrise going out to 441. I'm Alabama, Wings Traffic Control. The Stan Major Show continues on WIMZ. If you'd like to participate on today's program, you can call Stan on 624-9400 in Dade or 524-9400 in Broward. And now, here again, Stan Major. My music's up for sale to anyone around the globe. It's on TV, it's on radio. My songs are in the movies. Yes, I've sold out, baby. I'm raking in the dough. I look like Grandpa Monster. I'm barely three feet tall. And in another two weeks, I have no hair at all. Enough to pay me I'm breaking in the door I'm standing at night and day I'm standing at night and My pal Stan Major and the Stan Major Show. I'm gonna park my Ferrari, jump on the boat, and give my pal Stan a call. Hey Stan, you're the greatest, pal. No change, no change. Get a haircut, Don. Hello, Broward. Hello, Stanley. How are you doing? Hi, Donna. How are you feeling? Love you, Donna. I love you. Did thank you, you for the cards. Yeah, yeah, thank you for the cards. I, I really appreciate that. You stink you said you didn't get any mail. Well, you know, I mean, your mail is not really like an ordinary mail, Donna. Your mail is special, okay? Oh, I see. Nice. Did you like the little cat with the spaghetti hanging all over it? Yeah, right. Well, you always insult my dog, so... Okay. Fair play. Okay. How are things on Las Olas Boulevard? Well, I tell you, today was my first day out of bed and feeling like a normal person, and it's, I probably overdid, but it felt great to get out and run around and do a bunch of errands. And I have challenged Neil, Uncle Neil, um, Monday morning to a drag race, if you'll pardon the expression, in the parking lot. <laughs> And uh, my Porsche 928S against his Ferrari. And I know I'll win because he doesn't know how to, you know. That, that's right. Again. He doesn't know how to drive. No, but I'll even drive his Ferrari because I know how to drive that, and he can drive my Porsche, and then and we'll just raise hell out there. Can you believe that? Lori knows how to drive his Ferrari, and he doesn't know how to drive his Ferrari. I know. I, I, I know how to because the car I did has one, and, and uh, except I can't reach the pedals. Yeah. And he's too tall for my car, so... Uh, to drive, I mean. So, anyway, I just wanted to say hello, and I'm glad you you, you sound a little tired, but I, that's understandable. Yeah, I came back to work a day early. Yeah. I should have stayed in bed another day, but I'm uh, I'm recuperated. I feel pretty good. Well, good. Just just take it easy and and um, do your thing. And, and by the way, nobody asked, but the uh, polyp was benign. 
Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, we found out yesterday. Oh, that's great news. Okay. I'm, yeah. And and I'm not kidding you. Now, Lori, I know Lori's there. Now, you all, this is the house for you. Because I'm putting it, <laughs> I am putting it on the market. I oh, am. come on. I can't afford to live on Los Olas. Yeah. I mean, they're not even... T- my contract's up at about two weeks, and they're not even... They don't show any interest in even talking to me. Oh, listen, you're going to get a big raise. Yeah, right, sure. The, well, with we'll this company, we'll with this company, Donna, uh-huh. don't hold your breath, okay? <laughs> well, I think you will. Think, think good thoughts, and then good things will happen. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Donna. Bye-bye. Bye. Broward. Hi, Stan. It's Brian Norcross. Hey, Brian. How are you? What's the weather out there for Ogis? Well, it's uh, kind of rainy. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to call and say congratulations on your ratings. Thank you. I wish uh, I could say the same for Channel 10's 530 News. Well, after the ratings came out, the owners of Channel 10 contacted me, and I have to ask you a question about what they said. Will you take a collect call from Siberia? <laughs> Oh, it's not that bad. Come on. Yes, it is, Stan. They kicked me out of my Century Village apartment and everything. <laughs> well, Weaver is going off a couple of newscasts. Why don't you uh, call up Channel 4? Well, that's an idea. Okay. 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 And thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. Oh, you're kidding. You're kidding. You you mean you you're still going through the ratings out there? Yeah, right. Thanks a lot. Isn't that incredible? I'm not even going to tell people what hot news I'm holding in my hand here. If Uncle Neil is listening, he's going to barf up. Well, does anybody want to call Mr. Ego with this information? Huh? Is everybody out there who hates Stan Major and hates this program and doesn't understand it, would you all like to sit down while I while I pass on a little information for you? Huh? Jeez. This is incredible. I think I'll quit while I'm ahead. I mean, my contract's up the 30th, man. I think this is it, okay? When you're on top, just, uh, you know, just... Move over to Naples and just retire. Men, 25 to 54, 3 to 7 p.m. This program is number one. How about that? How about that? Isn't that incredible? There it is, friends, with a 6-9 share. I have not had a 6-9, and probably, Again, this includes the 6 to 7 news hour. Now, think of this, John. What happens when I get my 2 to 3, which is not included in here? If I get a 6, 9, 3 to 7, obviously I'm way over a 7. Go through the roof. About a 7, 2? At least. You mean I have a 7, 2 and Uncle Neil has a measly 7? Can you believe that? Oh, am I going to rub it in to him? Boy, there it is, friends. INZ is number one in men, 25 to 54, 3 to 7 p.m. We went from uh, the summer book, a 5-0 share to a 6-9 in the new book. Well... Whipped, uh, whipped everybody, friends. Went from 7,600 average quarter hour to 10,200. And, uh, the next, uh, competitor is, uh, MXJ. CMQ GTR is fourth. Waxy is fifth. Joy is, uh, Waxy and Joy are fifth. Life is 7th, IOD is 8th, 
Y100 is ninth. All of you Mr. Ego fans, if you'd care to call him, he probably had, doesn't have this number yet because it's so embarrassing they wouldn't show it to him over there. Uh, Mr. Ego, with all of his big bucks, gets a 4-3. Stan gets a 6-9. All right? Somebody call him and pass along the great news. That's incredible. Ah. I got to take a break after that. Uh, just keep dialing, and uh, we'll continue to uh, talk to you on the telephone at 625. That's. I, that shakes me up. 624 9400 and Dade, 524 9400 and Broward. We'll be back. The latest results are in from the Arbitron Rating Service. And WINZ salutes our great news team. Feeding WIOD, WNWS, weekday mornings in adult listenership, 25 to 54. 94 News wins. Well, I, uh, you know, in all humidity. Yeah. <laughs> In all, in all humidity, <laughs> I'm shook. I mean, I was stunned when Johnson called in when Talbot was here, but I have not been as shocked in the middle of a show uh, since that time like I am at this moment. That's, oh, God. Ah. Oh. Uh, Broward. Stan. Yeah. You know who this is? No. It's Bill Jr. <laughs> okay, Bill Jr. Hey, okay, you want to hear some more? No, one some? one bill is enough. You want some U2 or some Stevie Ray? What can I do for you? Nothing. But I appreciate the, uh, you know, the opportunity to talk to you on the telephone. I bet you do. And congratulations on your rating. That's, listen, this is shaky. This one. That's wild. How are you doing that? How do, how do you do that? I watch MTV. <laughs> well, give me a little John Cougar. Oh, I don't know any John Cougar. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, I know some Jimi Hendrix. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, do a little Jimi Hendrix. That's funky. You just see the girls in here. We're filming a video right now. Oh, really? Yeah, she's got these long legs stepping into my nice car. This is great. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah. My next video, she's going to be in a cage. Oh, no, don't do that to her. Yeah, I have to educate young people. Yes, absolutely. Well, it's uh, well, re it's really exciting. Give me just a little more. Oh, what do you want to hear? What do you want to hear? The Rockers against Drugs Just Say No theme? Yeah, right. Anything. Just say no. Oh, yeah. Say no. The Drugs. Say no. Far out, man. Play, Fat Bill. And it's showtime on the major program. Okay, fantastic. Thank you. Okay, Stan. I appreciate it. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hello. Hi. Hi. You're just that. Thank you. Hello. 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 Hi, this is Melanie Jr. Melanie Jr.? 
Well, this uh, Melanie is actually my real name. Oh, well, I like that. That's a pretty name. Thanks. Um, I had called yesterday and forgot to mention something when you guys were talking to Giorgio. Yeah. I read something in a magazine, in a glamour magazine. Yeah. And um, they were talking about couples that had a uh, pet name. And they mentioned um, Don Johnson and Melanie Griffith. Uh-huh. And they said that uh, she called him Pear and had one tattooed on her behind, and he called her Pinky. Wait a minute. She called him Pear? Yeah, P-E-A-R, and had one tattooed on her behind, and he called her Pinky. Do you think she had a Pinky tattooed on his behind? I don't know. <laughs> Can we find out? I don't know. All right, down there in the grip truck. <laughs> this is in the Glamour magazine of February. Incredible. Uh-huh. Okay. Pear Johnson. Yep. Okay. Thank you, dear. Okay, have a good one. Bye. Bye. Hello, Dade. Yeah, hold on, Don Johnson. We'll be with you in just a second. Okay. Sure, you will. Right. We haven't heard from this guy in a long time. Remember he used to call us all the time, John? With these phony things. Right? Mm -hmm. We're going to get a dial tone any minute. But listen, after that uh, 25 to 54 and men, who cares? Mm -hmm. Hello? Yeah? Uh, he decided he didn't want to talk to you today. Okay. Thank you. Hello? Hey, Stan, how you doing? Okay. Ian. How are you? Hi, Ian. Listen, I heard you. That I just heard of it. The 69. Well, no wonder you got that number. That's your number, isn't it? It's incredible. <laughs> I don't believe that's it. That's your I'm, number, though. I'm sitting here looking at it, and I can't believe it. Yeah, but 69, that's your lucky number, right? Wow. <laughs> Boy. Listen, guy, all the congratulations, all the best. Yeah, but you <laughs> see, I want the 69 in women. <laughs> You're certainly worth it, Tom. Thank you, Ian. Listen, I have, uh, you talked about restaurants earlier. Uh, uh, do you like Chinese food? Yeah. Okay, now this isn't a plug, but I ate this place, and it blew me out of my chair. It was so good. That's probably because they used MSG. <laughs> no, I doubt it. I doubt it. This place is absolutely incredible. Now, it's this place, it's, uh, it's, I have to tell you about it. I have to tell somebody, because it was unbelievable. My family took me there yeah. Sunday night. Yeah. And I have to tell you, uh... What's the name of the it? The name I... of it is called Mr. Mr. Coos. Mr. Coos? Coos, C-H-U-S. It's right across from the Galleria Mall. Oh, really? And it's unbelievable. Really? <laughs> they have these things for appetizer, like these, they call salt and pepper shrimp. Yeah. Oh, my God in heaven. You have to try this place. It's kind of expensive, but it's worth it. It's, oh, the best. Wow. I don't even like Chinese food, and this place is incredible. They have these string beans yeah. that are, like, kind of spicy. Yeah. They cook up. Oh, un it was, just blew me away. What would Fernando say about it? Fernando would say that it tasted absolutely, positively, incredibly <laughs> marvelous. Thank you, Ian. Bye. I'll take a little bit of Fernando after those ratings, man. I can take a little bit of anything. I can take any, even take a couple of more lard-ass calls after these ratings, man. I'll take anything. Dade. Hello, Stan. Yes. You used to be such a nice boy, <laughs> but now you're so terrible. Okay. See you Bye. later, babe. Thanks, Mom. Dade. Yeah, hi. Hi. Who's this? Stan. Stan. Yeah. I saw you just before he went on the air. Yeah. Listen, it was a pleasure meeting you. Yeah, thanks for dropping by. But... It really was. Uh, a real pleasure. Take oh. a word for it. Okay. And uh, I just uh, caught your ratings as I drove up to the house. And uh, <laughs> super congratulations. Boy, I don't believe it. <laughs> That's good. I don't believe them. And when I saw you, uh, you remind me of somebody I know. I won't say it on the air. Okay, don't. No, no, it's good. No, it's all right. No, don't embarrass me. No, no, no. No, don't no. embarrass me, Bob. Uh, it's uh, okay. I would do that. Okay. I'd do that. But would you do me a favor? Absolutely not. I won't do that, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm down here in Biscayne Park. Yeah. They're they're not far off to the east. <laughs> yeah, I know. At any rate, mm -hmm. uh, when you hear that uh, tape 
at your house? Yeah. Give me a call and let me know what you think of it. Okay, Bob. Will you do that? Okay. I appreciate it, buddy. Bye. Bye-bye. Broward. Hey, why don't you go stick your head in the Wonder Mug? A Wonder Mug? Yeah, you dumbass. Okay. Just... Broward. Stan. Yeah. Hey, I got a couple of questions to ask you. Sure. First, um, how much did Niels Ferrari cost him? Fifty-five. Fifty-five thousand? Mm-hmm. Well, that ain't too bad. That ain't too bad. And um, second of all, I know you know. Oh yeah, that. Yeah. The one Eric, the yeah. wrong tape. Yeah, yeah. But it, it wasn't the wrong tape. It wasn't his fault. Yeah. 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 It was. Uh, you know, I asked for the wrong hour, so it was my fault. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh. Well, I was with him when he brought the tape down there. Yeah. Yeah, so... Okay, Stan. Good to talk to you. Yeah, thanks a Thank lot. Thank you. Broward. Hello? Hi. Stan? Yeah. Yes. Can we get back to Giorgio? Yeah. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Let me tell you, do you have any idea... Wait, wait, wait. First of all, do you like David Letterman? Do you watch David Letterman? No, I can't stand it. Oh, dear heart. Well, let me tell you, this is the way I began wearing Giorgio. Uh-huh. Okay, Mary Lou Henner, do you yeah. know who she is? Yeah, the gymnast. No, 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 she's from Taxi. Oh, no, I, I'm thinking of Mary Lou, what's her name? Yeah. Mary Lou Henner. Yeah. Well, she came on the show, and David either pecked her on the cheek or kissed her hand, whatever it was, and he said, oh, dear heart, what is that uh, scent? And she refused to give it over the air, and she kept refusing, refusing. And he said, what is it, what is it? Finally, she came up with Giorgio. Well, I had to run out and get it. Well, that was your first mistake. Mistake, you're right. I used to get in a cab. I lived in Chicago. I used to get in a cab, and the cab driver used to cough and sneeze. (laughs) Cough and sneeze. And he was smoking a stogie. Well, well, among other things. Yeah, right. Well, we know what cab drivers smoke. Oh, dear heart. But it it was, uh, I thought it was a lovely scent. Unfortunately, now when I was listening to the radio, Giorgio, I gave it up. Good. Three. Great. Applause for you, man. Okay. Great. Stan, a terrific show. Thank you, dear. Okay. Thank Thank you. you. Ah. I was sitting here looking at this number, and it's just, uh, I don't get, you know, carried away by too many things. But uh, this is just, and there aren't words. I mean, I keep thinking, the only word I keep thinking of is incredible, and that gets so old, it's so overused. Jeez. I mean, to get a 6-9 in men, 25 to 54, in afternoon drive, and to be number one, uh, we're going to have to dig, really dig back into afternoon drive radio programs in the city over a long period of time, I think, to find a 6-9 or a 7. It's probably a 7-something because, uh, again, I don't get the 2-3 to three hour in this particular result. And I do get the 6-7 to seven news. Uh, so, a seven and afternoon drive in men is just, uh, I'm in shock. And, uh, what can I tell you? Let's take a break here and we'll find out about the traffic you're getting from Al. And, uh, Al, uh, listen, congratulations to you, buddy, because uh, your traffic reports are heard by all the men in the world. We'll take a break and be right back. The results are in from the Arbitron Rating Service, and WINZ says thank you listeners for once again making us South Florida's number one radio news authority. Okay, do they say wins on that jingle? 94 News wins. (laughs) Uh, Dade. Uh, yes. Is this a Stan Major show? Yes, it is, sir. I needed to speak with Stan. You got him. Stan, how you doing? This oh. is George over in Little Havana. Hi, George. I heard a little rumor the other day. I wanted to know the foundation of it. Okay. Uh, that, uh, uh, you know, remember that guy Dave Dixon? He used to do the midnight, uh, the midnight movie Madness on Channel 6. Uh, vaguely. Dave Dixon, a big giant guy. 
They Why? said that uh, so, uh, somebody told me that he was really Neil Rogers. Oh, real in Neil Rogers. He used to do the auto no. sound commercials or car sound commercials. No, I'll tell you who is really a Neil Rogers. Mm. Who's Neil Rogers? Skip Carey. What's his name? Skip Carey. Skip Carey. Skip Carey. Yeah, broadcast the Atlanta Braves game. Somebody told me it was uh, Dave Dixon. No, no, it's uh, Skip Carey. All right, hey, congratulations on the ratings. No, thank you. All right, I, think I that's appreciate it. Great job. Thank you. All righty. Thank you. And still Don won't call. I get a 6-9 in, in men and still Don won't call. Isn't that incredible? Uh, you know, I got the, off the air. I was talking to Eddie Almas, you know, and he was fawning all over me off the air. He was carrying on like, uh, you know, it was such a great uh, honor for him to be sitting in the same talk studio with me. And he carried on. And, he car and it wasn't phony. It was like serious, you know, and... Uh, I got the impression that somehow I've intimidated all the people with Miami Vice, which is incredible because they've got me intimidated, you know, to the nth degree. And if I've intimidated Johnson, you know, I'm, I don't mean to do that. God. Can you believe all of these Hollywood superstars would be intimidated by some dinky local talk show host who gets a 6-9 in men, 25 to 54? <laughs> It's okay, Don. You can call. Uh, Dave. Dan. Yeah. Am I on? Yes. Dan. Yes. Dan, I love you. What? I love you, Dan. Isn't that something? Be good. Okay, congratulations on the rating. Thank you. All right, talk to you later. Okay. Dade. Oh, by the way, if Lee Dan. Fowler wants to call and apologize for his comments about his buddy Steve Dan. Kane, he can do it. Yeah. Maybe if you got a 6 9 in women, Don would call. Oh, okay. That, yeah, I'm working on that. Okay. Dave. Hey. Yeah. Dan Major. Yes, sir. Got somebody who wants to talk to you. Uh huh. Sorry there, Stan. How you doing there, mate? How are you, Boomer? Well, are we doing all. Boomer, who's that, mate? Oh, that ain't Boomer. No, that ain't me. Oh, how are you? This is, uh, Paul Logan from the land down under giving you a rap. Yeah, where you been? Well,. Yeah, we've been touring the States for a bit. And yeah. Kind of like it. Heard about your ratings in the land and uh, all the Aussies. Yeah. want to say congratulations on that fine, just a fine score. Isn't that something? What are we going to do to celebrate that, mate? I don't know. I thought we'd, uh, you know, maybe take a little trip to Aussie land there, go uh, down to the, Sydney. and. Be down there. You know that, don't you? Yeah. Can I go to New Zealand? Would that be okay while I'm yeah. down there? Oh, the Kiwis, they don't know much about the wireless. <laughs> They're not too sure about you. Yeah, I never got a, a letter from that guy with the BBC either, darn it. Don't know about that guy. Okay. Not sure about what you're talking about. Yeah, well, there was a guy from the BBC who was in town over the Christmas holidays, and he called me and said he was going to write me a letter and invite me to come over. No, I think you're mistaken me as if you know me, because this is the first time I... Well, actually... No, no, I don't know you. But it's good to hear. I've heard some from some, some Aussies before, you see. I see. Yeah, one guy called me from a limo and said he had three Australian uh, females in his limo with him. Oh, the Americans, they love it quite mm. well. I know. Quite well, they do. Yep. But, uh, yeah, it's the second time I've uh, called your program and like it quite a lot. Thank you. Just uh, want to say good luck. And, uh... Well, there's nothing like this over there, right? Ooh. Down under? You, you don't really. Uh, you, of course, you don't have the choice you do here. Yeah. So I suppose if somebody's going to bring it over, it'd be uh, quite a hit, but it takes some getting used to, you know? We'll put it on a satellite for you. The outback, or they just go wild, you know? All those aborigines would love it. Oh, uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> You're talking at the door with knives, you know? Uh. Okay, good to talk to you. All right, there, Mr. Major. Yeah. Have a good, have a good time in South Florida. Oh, it's going to be just uh, wonderful with the, the weather. Yeah. Just. Uh, yeah, it's great today. Absolutely short circuit of the, the sunshine, you oh, know. Oh, come on! If you don't like it, wait around for an hour. Oh well, I'll give it about another twenty-four, you know. Okay, good. All right, there, sir. You take care. Thank you. Bye bye. bye. Love their accent, Broward. Hey, Lord, Ed. Well, I'm going to get a job in a dairy queen. Broward. How you doing, Sam? How are you? Hey, nice numbers you got there, buddy. It's incredible. Uh, what are you going to do? Gonna negotiate for a Lamborghini or something, though? Yeah, all right. I want that Lamborghini that uh, Neil was looking at. Uh-huh. You going to get a new time slot or what? Or no, you? I'm going to get a boat. 
Seems like you got him by the, you know. <coughs> Not not this company, believe me. Oh, okay. No, they've always got us by the by the short hairs. Yeah. All right, you have a good day. Okay, good to talk to you. Bye-bye. Broward. Yo. It's the beautiful lady in the mic Hi there. Hi, how are you, mister? Never guess you this is. It's Mr. Rogers Junior. I can wait to say that. How come the other Mr. Rogers doesn't sound like me? <laughs> I don't know. Probably because I don't drive a Ferrari. And you and he doesn't wear a sweater. Sure, I know. I have any of those first two. Do you have a pair of them? No. I do. Okay. You know what? You'll never go broke as long as you have a pair of two overs. That's good. I like that. Sure. Sure. Can you say goodbye? Can you say thank you? <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Dave.